everyone. My name is Virginia Duan, also known as Mandarin Mama, and I host a podcast called the Nuna Army Podcast. We talk about the particular challenges and aspects of being a middle-aged BTS fan. And I have a special guest today. Her name is Ronnie, and I'll let her introduce her. I'll let her introduce herself. <laughs> I'm Ronnie, the Travel Guru. That is my blog, RonnieTheTravelGuru.com, and I have a Facebook page, and I'm on Instagram. All the same, Ronnie the Travel Guru, and. I talk to you about travel. I love travel. I've been traveling for over 30 years, and I believe that travel can be a lifestyle. And you know, whether your lifestyle is you want to be on have a budget or you can splurge, it doesn't matter. You can still have a great trip no matter how much money you have. And so I show people how to do that. And I've worked for an airline for the past 13 years. And because of that, it's given me a lot of insight into what you can do before you get to the airport and before you get to <laughs> your place, you know, where you're gonna travel to, to ensure that you have stress-free travel because it's possible. And uh, I make some stuff. I make stickers and- Show them your stickers. Oh, okay, yeah. So I, as a black woman traveler, I love stickers. I'm a planner girl. And I got tired of not seeing me represented in travel. As a dark-skinned woman with kinky hair, I have never been able to walk into a store and buy anything that has a dark-skinned woman with kinky hair. And so I created, I have a shop on Etsy. It's called Black Girl Stickers. And so I've created, well, I haven't. I hire illustrators. So they take the images that I have in my head and they put them on paper. And so I've created all kinds of black women in different scenarios. And I'm now expanding to black families fathers with their children traveling, mothers with their children traveling, aunties with their children, with their, their people, with their people, yeah. <laughs> and so just a way to show black women that, yeah, you're normal and it's okay for you to go and buy something that looks like you. And so, yeah, I do, Ugh. So here's just a few. Uh, some of the stickers that I have created, they have different skin tones, because if you're a light-skinned black person, you look different than a dark-skinned black person, so. There you go. She also made this shirt. Um, it says, I love BTS a normal amount and has their debut uh, date on the back. And a normal amount. Which is a lot. That's the only one. And uh, yeah, so uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, the links will be in the description. And if you are a follower of my channel, she will give you a discount. So it's very Yes, she do. Yes, she do. Um, so Ronnie has, doesn't know anything about BTS. And K-pop, so she's seen three three of BTS songs so far, and now I like them all because uh, she has taste. And then, uh, but now I'm going to show her three because she wants to see more dancing. Yeah. And she, I like the dancing and hip hop. So I'm going to show her. I think it's fourth muster, fourth or third muster. I can't remember. Um, and it's the live of Come Back Home, No More Dream, and Mic Drop. So so for context, Come Back Home is a remake of a very famous. I guess the father of Korean K-pop and K-hip hop. Okay. His name is So Teji and the boys. And uh, one of his boys uh, went on to create one of the top three entertainment companies. He's in a bit of legal trouble now. But oh. um, please hold. Baby girl. You can either be in the video or you can be upstairs. Come be in the, vi Come be in the video. You want to be in the video? Come beautiful. Come sit here. Come be in the video. We're being joined by my daughter, Camera. She's so cute. She's eight. And she's going to uh, hold the laptop. Sit. No! Sit down. Come on, sit down. Come on. All right. Say hi. Hello. What's your name? Camera. Camera. All right. <laughs> How old are you? Eight. Do you love BTS? Kind of. Who's your favorite? Her favorite is Jungkook. All right. And um, so the, this song, Come Back Home, is a remake, and he didn't, So Teji didn't, he, I guess did it like a 20th or 25th anniversary DVD, and mm -hmm. he invited BTS to remake the song. So it's oh. their remake of it. Okay. Um, and it, uh, the original sounds a lot like, um, the name, the, it, it, the original sounds very, very like 80s rap. Okay. Like with the like whining, it sounds like Public Enemy, but the oh. whining, like okay. siren kind of thing in the okay. back, you know? Um, think that's sometimes under pressure i can't remember the actual groups they sound like that's okay all right the second song is no more dream which okay. is the song that they de debuted with okay so that was their first single and it was very hip-hop and it talks about like 
they, they're dream, they, don't, they don't have any dreams, they're young, they just want big cars, big things, big rings, and it's kind of social commentary about how they're young, they don't know what they want to do, it's okay that they don't know what they want to do, because mm -hmm. they're young. Uh, and then Mic Drop is from 2017, and that is um, it's a swag song. It's talking about like, it's responding to a lot of their haters, it's saying like, hey, we got a ton of trophies, we got a ton of trophies in our bag, and it's yeah, and it samples um, Missy Elliott's ah. get, get Your Freak On. Okay. So. Do you like these songs? She's seen this like a million times. Oh, okay. She's Have you seen this a million over. times, Baby Girl? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Here we go. Are you going to do it? No. No. Now, where was this concert? Uh, Korea. So they do oh. fan conference, like concerts just to like thank the fans. My God, there's a lot of people. Yes. What is that in your hands, in the audience? Oh, they're called army bombs? They're like light sticks. My daughter is here, so I can't say anything. <laughs> oh, I like this song. It's a good song. Yeah. The original is good, too. Were these guys, were they friends before? Or no. it was like a casting call thing and they brought them all together? Yeah. Boy, their lives changed forever. My goodness. He actually accompanied a friend to the audition and then auditioned on the flute. No way. He was like, oh, yeah, I'll try. And Oh, and the friend, so the friend obviously didn't get in. No, the friend did not get in. I wonder if they're still friends. <laughs> I don't know. I like that beat. Yeah. That beat is really good. So you hear that whine in the back? That's what reminds yeah, me of Yeah, no, it's, it's good. I want to hear the original now. Yeah, it's good. I'll have to find it. I'll send it to you. This is that so? I think I'm not sure, I don't know. This is probably one of my top three favorite live performances. Yeah? Yeah. Where did you see my concert? I saw them at the Oakland Arena. Okay. And I also saw them at Rose Bowl. I took the middle two, so her and the six-year-old. Uh-huh. 
So this is their debut song, No More Dream. No More Dream. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are the lip singers? Are they really no, singing? No, they're, 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 they're really singing. Mm -hmm. They're terrible lip singers. Oh, are they really? Yeah, they're <laughs> terrible. You're like, try harder. <laughs> Is that a Kango that he has on? Hmm? Isn't he having a Kango? A Kango? Kango. The fat. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm like, a what? I know nothing about brands. Nothing. No, but like back in the day, Run DMC, like they used to wear, rappers used to wear Kango. Oh. You know the... No, you have no idea what I'm talking about. No. What? Now I have a Google. <laughs> Oh, I guess we don't see them dancing this. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, they're, just, they're doing the rapper thing. Just kind but of they do, they, they will do the dance break at the end. So okay. there is a dance break at the end. Well, watching J-Hope dance is, or walk is already excellent. Is J-Hope the one with the red hat? Yes, the fucking hat. He owns this whole performance. So there's always usually like one or two that are more popular than everybody else. Is he one of the ones that is? Um, I think the youngest three are the most popular because like the younger fans tend to go for the younger members. But I think they're all very, very, very popular. They all are. Because okay. they all bring different elements. Because mm -hmm. I'm only showing you their like music and videos, but they they have like variety shows. They have trap. <gasps> You should watch their travel shows. They have a travel show? They have travel shows. There's four seasons now. And because they're like, like K-pop stars, everything's taken care of for them. So on these travel shows, they're like, their managers give them money and stuff. And they're like, good luck. Oh, they have to travel on their own. Yeah. Really? So the first season, they travel Europe. And then RM, he's the one with the baseball cap. Yeah. The cap. He loses his passport. <laughs> <laughs> and they have like cook, they have to buy things, they have to communicate in like English. And they have to try and figure it out. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like they lose luggage, like it's, it's awesome. And then uh, I think the second one, second Mon Voyage is in Hawaii. And the third one was in Malta. And the last one was in New Zealand. Okay, I'll have to, is it on YouTube? No, you, it's paid content. I'll, oh. I'll hook you up. I'll find you up. Ah, yes. We missed, I'm sorry, we missed the best part. We had, oh, to, we okay. had, we had to pay attention to this dance break. Okay, okay. I apologize. <laughs> okay. This is the whole reason I watched this video. Okay. Oh. That one right there. Yeah. Yeah. Just. He's got swag. <laughs> yeah, he's got swag. Right? right yeah. Look how low he goes. Yeah. Oh he's my got... God. <laughs> oh. He might. Oh. Mm. Okay. Yeah. He's 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 definitely got some. Yeah. He's got swag. Mm-hmm. Well, Jimin's, Jimin's 
pretty fun. Which one is Jimin? The red jacket. Ah. He's, he's the contemporary. Or was a contemporary. Oh, okay. So now they're doing mic drop. Okay. Remix. I looks how far back most people are. Well, I mean, this isn't even a stadium. This is just an arena. So they're doing a fan chant where they're like chanting all their names in like fan chant order. So. There's a fan chant? Yeah. We so there are lots of fan chants. Every song has a fan chant that they perform. So that like the, the audience learns it and they like, so they like, it's a way to participate in the song. Every song has I, a I fan chant. I think almost like before a concert, they'll release like. Oh, they release it and the fans learn it. Mm -hmm. And then they sing it to them at the concert. It's pretty smart. It's a K-pop thing. Oh, that, that's that's brilliant marketing. K-pop is fantastic marketing. How are they not sweating? Look at they all are. The, look no, at that. Yeah, they're but dripping. I, yes, but I'm saying, like, all the stuff that they have on. I would be dying. I would just have to have on shorts and a little shirt. I don't even understand it. Like, they got so many layers. But they must, they might not be even wearing shirts at any point. Like, those are tank tops. Right, yeah. But the big old jacket. Do you need a pee pee? I do that. Hi, pee pee. I do So cute. I mean, I get it. I feel like I need to go work out mm -hmm. hey. after watching this. Oh. <laughs> this is my whole life, people. My life. I mean, someone should enjoy them. <laughs> We're on camera. It's so funny. It's just so <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Hey, Kitty. Oh, okay. It's gonna get so awesome so soon. So, like, at a concert, they perform like 25 songs. That's a lot. And for like, they dance for the, most the whole of them. time. Most of them. Yeah. With like five, six outfit changes. And stuff. That's a lot. I must be so tired after. <laughs> And they don't seem to have many, like, every now and then they'll have some backup dancers that come out. Yeah. But they don't seem to really, it, it sh seems like it's usually just them. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on the song. Oh. So, come out, so, so now the backup dancer's coming for the best dance break ever. Oh, okay. Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay, this is like, ah! This is like 50 men doing body rolls. There's a version of them just in suits, and it's like 50 men in suits doing yeah. body rolls. And it is the best thing I've ever seen on TV ever. Mommy, can you see a cat? Yeah. Oh, I get only one person. Why is there only one person? <laughs> I guess the one, maybe the song was mic drop. So well, they were inspired. He dropped the mic. They were inspired by Obama's mic drop. Ow! 
um, speech. Ah! At the, was it the State of the... State of the Union? Was it the State of the Union? I think it was the State of the Union. Or was it the... Or was it Oh, the, was it the press? No, the, the press. <laughs> the one where they go, where they do the... Hey, Mommy. Where the comedian comes and... Yeah. and I think it was a White House, White House press. Correspondence dinner. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, where yeah. he did it, yeah, yeah. When he dropped the mic. Yeah. So, well, how was the... I mean, there was a lot of distractions. And boob touching. Yeah, and boob touching, which was... I just find hilarious. I, I mean, love someone. <laughs> I love... I love... The, I love kitties. No, I... You know what? I when now that I when I go home, uh-huh. I have serious. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna see if I can find. In fact, before I leave, I'm gonna see if I can find. It must be like a BT. They, they must have. They a have BTS. K-pop. I'm sure they have K-pop. Or K. Excuse me. Or K-pop station. Yeah. Because now I want to listen to it more because I don't, I really didn't know anything about. Yeah. K-pop or. I think if you like if you like music, you'll love K-pop, uh, because all the um, and BTS. I I. So some people only like BTS and don't like the rest of K-pop. Uh-huh. I like BTS and I like a lot of K-pop. Um, okay. And uh, I I only have the energy and time to like stan BTS. Because <laughs> first of all, I have a limited bank account. My husband will leave me if I spend any more money on BTS. But um, <laughs> but yeah. So, but if like all the a lot of the songwriters of like R and B and hip hop songwriters of the 90s in america are now writing for k-pop and k- interesting uh, like k entertainment really because uh, the radio it's really hard to write songs for american radio now because i guess the songs are so short um and then also there's only like four or five max melody lines and then they have to like have space for a rapper and then but in k-pop it's minimum eight to ten melody lines and beat changes uh-huh. so um so yeah, it's just a lot more interesting. Oh. And then the videos, you didn't see too many, but they're all their videos are always very like visually opulent. So K-pop, uh, one of the members of BTS described it very well. Like K-pop, you don't think of it only as music. It is, it is it's all these things working together, like music, visuals, like storylines, like mm-hmm. social interactions between the idols and their fans, and then um, just everything. It's like a whole package. Mm-hmm. It's not just music right uh, so it's it's kind of like you know how beyonce she had is like she has the lemonade movie right there's like different personas she had you know like it's just i wouldn't say it's the exact same thing because i don't know enough about beyonce but <laughs> but um but yeah it's just very very involved mm-hmm. so there's lots of ways to get into bts so actually you i think you really would like their travel shows so. I yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty good. That'd yeah. be that'd be kind of funny, it's, it, especially because you said since they travel so much mm-hmm. and everything, they don't have to think about anything. Yeah, they just walk into their suite and order their food or tell somebody what they want. Or, or they're tired, you know. Yeah, they just want to sleep. Oh yeah, I would imagine as much as they, they work hard. Yeah. Obviously, they're hard workers. Yeah. To, yeah. So the, so to see them have to deal with this, all the other stuff is it's that's hilarious. Funny. Especially they're like young, right? So they're tra- so they get a budget. So they're like, oh, we can't just buy what we want. They're like, no, this well, is your money. Well, it's true, and you know what? It's true because I only became a travel guru. Like I've been tra- like for thirty. I've been traveling for a long time. You mm-hmm. don't become an expert at something by just doing it. Well, social media will have you think you can do it for five seconds, and now you're an expert. That's not how life works. <laughs> oh, oh. So when, <laughs> but when I was when I was nineteen twenty. I made so many mistakes, and the reason why I can call myself Ronnie the Travel Guru is because I have made every mistake mm-hmm. that I now talk to people about. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you it takes time yeah. to develop any any skill, whatever whatever it is. So I'm not surprised that they got lost. And, oh, yeah, they lost and, luggage, they lost iPads, they lost passports, they lost things, lots of things, their minds. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd, I'd love to watch it. I didn't know that was a. I didn't know. Yeah, that was I'll, send, I'll send the link to you. Okay. Yeah, I had no idea that was a thing. I love it. No, I, I, and that's one of the things that I find is great. One of the good things about the internet and the good things about Facebook is because so I met you through Facebook through mm-hmm. the Facebook group. Yeah. Thanks to Brandy, and our wonderful mastermind group, and then now I've been introduced to a whole nother genre that I just I literally didn't know existed, mm-hmm. and I love that. And that's great. I didn't have to travel to get it. So well, when you, she traveled. Yeah. She traveled well, to me. <laughs> well, yeah. But but when you get to, and that's a good thing too, because when you get to know people that are different than you mm-hmm. and have, I mean, you're a stay-at-home mom, uh, mother of four, <laughs> and teaching your kids, like that is like homeschooling your four, four kids. Hello. 
I'm a single girl living in North Carolina. Like, our lives are completely different. But living the champagne travel right. life. <laughs> <laughs> and our lives are completely different. Yeah. But it's cool that we can come together and you teach me about this. Oh, and you learned about garage music and about I did. I, today Kanga. I learned about Kanga and garage, and garage music. music. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, what kind of music do you like? I was like, hip hop, R&B, and garage. And she's like. I thought you meant like a garage band, like indie music. <laughs> I was like, is that a is that a genre now? I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. now, now I learned. Today I learned. Love garage <laughs> music. Yeah. No, it's great. I want to. I'm gonna go in the car and try and find a K-pop station. Very exciting. Yes. I'm serious. Well, thank you so much for watching. I know this is probably a longer video, but um, please like and subscribe. Check out Ronnie's stuff, and uh, she makes excellent stuff. Thank you. Including this shirt. Remember, Yay. you get a discount. Yes, you do. And uh, have a great day. Bye. Bye.